quarantine class. This is lesson six of our fiction writing. As you can tell at the top of this, it says show, don't tell, planning and writing scene. So this is going to be a little bit of a review in terms of showing and not telling, um, but a couple of things we'll go over may be new to you. So first let's talk about a scene. When we're talking about movies or TV shows, a scene is kind of like one part of the whole entire story where something is taking place. Think about your favorite movies or your favorite TV shows. They're not all in one place. They're in different areas, in different places. And they call those things scenes. And our stories are the same way. They aren't all taking place in one area. They're moving around in different places. You're in different areas. Your characters are in different places. So those are called scenes. And what we're going to do today is try to write maybe one or two scenes from our story just so we can kind of get a good feel for what our story is going to look like. And it's also really helpful to write a scene because it's almost like you're getting part of your story done, which can be less intimidating than just trying to work on it all at once. Okay. And so these scenes are parts of your story that you really want to have details in. This is kind of like um, you've been practicing all this time uh, for a sporting event or a piano recital or a violin recital or a gymnastics routine, and now it's time to actually go out there and do it. So we kind of want to make this as detailed as possible so that it's ready for our story. Now, this is a draft, and we're just planning. So this does not mean that this is going to be the way our story is going to be. It's just a good way for us to really lose ourselves in our story and take ourselves into what that character is doing and what that character is experiencing and really, really being as detailed as possible. Think back to that exploding the moment video of the girl who got that milk unfortunately dumped all over her. You remember that? There was so much detail in there and even though we watched the girl getting poured, uh, getting milk poured on her, we could still, even if there were no video, the way that that writer described what was going on, we probably had a 4K HD picture of what was happening in that story. And writing scenes is a great way to take those basic ideas that we've been talking about with our problems and who our character is and really starting to build a story. But as I said before, remember, this is just a draft and you will, 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 will go back and fix it up when we write our whole story. I often have to tell all of my fourth graders that you should never get married to your first draft. A lot of times, kids your age think, well, I've got it all down on paper, it's good to go. And then you have to ask them to revise or to edit, and they go, yeah, I went through it, it's good to go. Little realizing that there are a lot of mistakes. So I don't want you to fall in love with the first thing you write. I'm going to start drafting here in just a second a scene, and I can guarantee you that even though I've recalled this story many times and I've written this story down many times, I'm still going to have some changes that I want to make, all right? But that's not important right now. What's important right now is to get all of those great details down on paper. So, as I say here, you may write one scene, you may write two scenes, you may even write three scenes, but I want you to write enough scenes to help you make sure that your story will have lots of details and that the reader, aka me, or your parents, or whoever else you choose to share the story with, will have a 4K HD picture in their minds of what's happening. So, I'm going to give it a try now, and I'm going to draft the scene about putting my sister into the garbage can. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to try to kind of lose myself in that story and really take myself back to what happened. Now, even though I'm writing as a character, Tim, that character is still based on me. And so all of this information is going to be about what I was thinking, what I was feeling. But even if you're not writing about yourself, lose yourself in that character that you created. That's why we spent so much time on this, thinking about our characters and who they were on the inside and who they were on the outside, so that we can do this kind of work. All right, so I'm just going to start typing and... Uh, I typically like to talk out loud when I type anyways, so this will be perfect for our lesson. So, sister in the garbage can scene. So let me think about how that started. Today is going to be the day I have decided all of the props that I'm 
mean in and the way I wanted to trick her was finally getting this is me talking now oh you know what well it's okay I can go back and fix this I forget if I actually used my sister's real name in this I don't think I did but maybe I did I am kind of that evil enough to probably use her name can you come outside real quick Oops, I want to show you something. Just figure out. I said this with a sneaky smile on my face, waited for her reply. Sure. I'll be right out with the trap set for her. I quickly rolled her. I think I rolled it. I kind of remember pulling. Yeah, quickly pulled the garbage can out to the very top of driveway and waited with both excitement and nervousness for an encounter. I'm actually going to change, I'm going to make it a new paragraph here because I'm not changing the scene but it's kind of like a new action is happening and I know we've talked about that before. Let's up. My sister said in a, I remember that she was acting out of the ordinary. It wasn't really normal. So maybe I could say in a not so normal way. Usually she was really angry and upset, but this particular time she was very calm. towards her and the garbage can that she just so happened to be standing next to and removed the lid from the garbage can. Check out how many Hot Wheels I was able to fit into this garbage can. It's pretty amazing. This was it. She was starting to fall for my plan. She slowly lurched forward to look into the garbage can, and that's when I pounced like a cat. I picked her up and put her head first into the garbage can. Her body was a perfect fit for the can, and I didn't even have to worry about her violently her wagging her violent wagging feet and legs because they were well within the garbage can. Now it was time for phase two of my plan. And I'm gonna stop right there. So I didn't start at the beginning. I didn't start at the middle. I chose to kind of write the scene that was kind of towards the end, and that was getting my sister into the garbage can. 
Now, I would probably uh, write one, probably two more scenes. One of her actually going down the driveway in the garbage can and how that felt to me. And one, I would probably write about how I was feeling, um, well, how my character Tim is feeling about uh, not being able to get even with her. So today, that's what you're going to do. You're going to write a couple of scenes, kind of like I did here, from your uh, draft a couple of scenes for your story, so that um, hopefully by the end, I'm sorry, by the beginning of next week, we can start with our drafts on these fiction stories. I'm really excited to see what kind of scenes you're going to come up with. Have fun with this, and enjoy.